Hello my friends, welcome to another episode of Diablo 3. My name is Wilfred. So this is towards the end of season 20. I would like to make a guide on the new wizard set, uh, which is the Typhoon set. Now I'm not going to use the uh, season buff because I would like to make a guide uh, that is useful even after the season has, uh, has ended. And uh, so I'm not uh, mixing the can I keep uh, to make the character even stronger? So it's just like, uh, you know, kind of basic, um, you know, the, the basic configuration, I would say. Now, this set is uh, is really, really fun and uh, and relaxing to play. So if you like to play a character that's more relaxing and less, uh, less about, you know, waiting for some ultimate uh, skill or power to make the character uh, kind of like effective, then this, this is really for you. And also, um, this is one of the... You know, most tanky kind of like a uh, character I've played in the Diablo 3 as well. Uh, with the shield, you can see there's a shield there as well. You know, shield is almost like more than the life that you have. And uh, so you have the life, you have shield as well. And uh, and overall is very, very tanky. And to maintain the damage mitigation kind of buff is very straightforward. You just need to make sure that you have enough Hydra heads around and that's about it. Unlike some other classes, you have to fulfill certain criteria to become more dur durable. Uh, just out of the box, uh, this build is really, really good. Um, and also, the pets are very effective, uh, so you can have the, uh, you know, the, the Hydra. And you can place the Hydra anywhere on the map as well, you know, you, you, can, you can put it like really far, or into the enemy base, or into the kind of like, um, you know, corridors or rooms and so on, you can, you can do that. Unlike some other uh, builds, pet build whereby you have to rely on the pet intelligence to get somewhere, no, this one is really about putting the pet there and they'll just do the stuff that they need to do. So it's really, really effective. Um, and uh, the, the only drawback I would say of, of this, uh, this build or this set is that it's not a very uh, high tier set. It's just like, you know, it's a good tier set. I mean, um, you know, don't get me wrong. It's still pretty effective. It get to really kind of like good places, but it is not one of those sets that you will wow you. If you like to go for the leaderboard and, you know, stuff like that, uh, it is not a set to be, um, but it's it's a good set. It's it's a it's a nice set. And the one thing I really like not like about it is that uh, as I as I play this set, um, I I don't need to. I mean, it seldom get defeated at all. Um, so you can you know you can do your, uh, gr. You can, oh man. I mean, you can level up your damn five times easily with the uh, with the empowerment. So I kind of like classes whereby um just be a little bit more tanky and consistent. It's a very consistent kind of like gameplay. Now um. I'm going to go through a build first, and after that, I go through a gear that I use, some tips on how to play this, uh, you know, to to the to, to way that I, I like it to, uh, to, to play that way. Um, so now from the build perspective, there are two buffs that you use. One is Storm Armor, the other one is Magic Weapon. So Storm Armor, I picked the uh, Power of the Storm because with the ring that you have, uh, you get further damage mitigation as well. We'll get into that in just a bit. So that is pretty cool. Uh, the important thing about it is uh, to understand that the 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 how the ring can't interact with the power of the storm um, and, and I'll talk a little bit about that in just a bit because there's a certain requirement on how far you need to position yourself uh, for the storm armor to strike and then you get the uh, get the uh, get the damage reduction buff another one is the magic weapon the magic weapon the uh, you know that is an extra car protective uh, shield for five, three seconds that absorb four percent of life in damage uh, when you perform an attack so you know you perform attack almost uh, instantaneously when you face an enemy so you get uh, straight away you get um, uh, damage reduction there so these are the two that I would recommend to you to use um, you know, because it lasts for quite some time, uh, 10 minutes, usually your, your Rift is wrapped up in 10 minutes. Uh, but however, if you go for higher Rift, whereby you need about 12 to 14 minutes to complete the Rift, then just remember to rebuff yourself. That's the only uh, only advice I can give you. The, the only thing that really do damage in this entire build, not Arcane Torrent, not Black Hole, is really about Hydra. So whatever gear you have, you know, whatever gear affixes that you have, you go towards the Hydra. So for example, um, any any legendary affixes that buff Hydra, be as you can summon two Hydra instead of one Hydra, and so on and so forth, uh, three, you know, five Hydra heads in, instead of three Hydra head, and uh, and anything that does, you know, buff the Hydra, like percentage to Hydra, percentage to cold damage, all these things are something that you should, um, you know, really focus on and make your Hydra really, really powerful because that is really your main DPS. The rest of it is just to buff the Hydra, all right? So I, I Use the frost because I found that the frost is um is a pretty good kind of like a you know range or DPS in a, in an area kind of way and it's kind of effective as well. So I pick frost. Uh, black hole. There's uh 
um, you know, the black hole is a little bit interesting because do you need black hole or not? I think um, for this season 20, a lot of people don't use this black hole and use the explosive blast because you can pick like two weapons or one weapon, one offhand in your Kanai cube, but not for not for out of season. So um, I, 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 I like black hole in a sense that it does give you the extra kind of like a crowd control. You know, when you have a bunch of enemy there, you can crowd control them with black hole. And uh, with, the, uh, with the offhand item, you could cast two, up to two black hole as well if your timing is pretty good. Uh, the only thing is that you know, sometimes I do manage to capture quite a lot of enemy within the 15 yard and get a pretty good kind of like a buff to my cold spell. Like, you know, like there may be 20 step of it that give you, uh, you know, kind of like, uh, sixty percent damage, uh, kind of buff, and so on and so forth. Uh, but unfortunately, because I have an offhand that will randomly cast stuff uh, like the black hole as well, so it nullify the whole effect. So I do, I would not read too much into when do I do it. You know, am I capturing like uh, ten or twenty enemies at one location? If I can, I would do that. But I know that very soon it will get nullified by the um, by the offhand auto cast kind of thing. So. It is what it is. Um, Arcane Torrent is not really that important. Uh, in, in, in It's not, a, well, it is important, but it's not the one that gives you a DPS. Um, the, the only thing is that uh, it does, through the channeling kind of skill, buff your uh, overall damage that, of course, buff your Hydra. So it, in, in itself, it doesn't really do anything uh, much, but uh, it does the buff to many other things. And also when you do it, you know, when, you, when you channel your Arcane Torrent, you kind of take uh, lesser damage while you channel, and also every second you you, you channel increase your damage by X percent up to a certain 25% damage reduction itself. The only thing is that uh, without the uh, the bell item, I believe it's a bell item uh, that, that you use, it's very hard to maintain uh, the arcane tone that you can just like keep casting without worrying about the arcane power, uh, which is the resource here. So there is a bit of trade-off there. Uh, when do you channel it? Uh, you, 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 you probably have to think through a little bit. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about tips on that later. But um, you know, there's a two differences here. One is you channel by just stop and go, stop and go to buff, you to, to get your legendary dam to, to take on the certain number, like 20 stats. Uh, and then there's one that you just keep channeling so that your offhand, your you know, main hand, everything is uh, buffing the, 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 the Hydra. So there are two, 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 two school of thought there. Um, so something to pay attention. Um, another thing is a teleport. Teleports, uh, there, there are a couple of like, you know, um, options there. Some, some like a wormhole kind of thing to teleport in our time. I like safe passage uh, because you get 25% uh, 20, less damage, um, you know, upon you for five seconds. Uh, which is kind of useful, although the, the cooldown is about 11 seconds and if you do all this cooldown reduction, which is not what this is, this build is about because I don't need cooldown reduction in this build anyway. But uh, in any case, I mean, you know, you probably have half the time you get the 25% less damage, half the time not. So I would say, you know, pop it while you can um, to just take lesser damage. But in any case, you have shield, you have any other thing that help you to survive anyway. So um, it's pretty, pretty standard, I would say. Uh, nice build that very straightforward. Now, uh, passive wise, again, there are, there are multiple options there. Um, you know, one that I like is that uh, I stand still. I increase my uh, damage, armor, and resistance because as you channel, you have got the standstill. But sometimes you do need to move around to just dodge some of this, like, you know, big damage. Because I, I think playing wizard for this Typhoon set is a, is a bit of experience. You know, you know that there are certain damage that you can just take and it's fine, you know, okay with you. But you know that there's some um, kind of like a, um, attack that you you can't take too much of it um, so for example anything that has to do with the physical damage against you you know that you can't take too much of it but if anything that is going to be a fireball to you or like you know like um, you know um, some, something that is, is not uh, non-physical you know that because you are a wizard you have a lot of intelligence henceforth the uh, uh, resistance against the non-physical uh, damage upon you so you kind of get a sense of what you can take what you cannot so uh, as much as you can, I will just stay still. But however, I do need to move around sometimes to get the um, you know get 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 away from some of this big damage coming onto me. Again, depends on whether you are facing the physical or non physical damage. Um, this is a uh, uh, another ward there. Yeah, as as long as you have not take damage in the last five seconds, you gain a protective shield that absorbs the next sixty percent of your life in danger. So I would say you know look, um, it is. Uh, you know, it's good to have extra shields that, you know, I think, I think as you can see, when you attack, you get shield, when you stand still, you get shield, and, you know, kind of like quite, quite, quite a fair bit of shield that, uh, that you have there. And uh, also, it works in a sense that if you observe this, uh, this, this 
uh, you can check out the video I have uh, in the past when I played this season is that you seldom take any damage on of course you know when you take damage you take a big big hit on that because of the uh, the necklace that I use but uh, you know very seldom you see anything happen to your life anyway so uh, you kind of get this quite often another thing is that uh, unstable and normally is really um, like any other build out there you have that kind of like uh you know kind of extra insurance i would say if you if the character receive any fatal damage you can just threat yourself and after that um you know for another one minute you try not to do anything thing weird to get yourself killed and uh, otherwise i mean you know that's pretty cool uh last one is audacity uh, any any enemy within 15 yards you deal extra damage you could pick the one that is the opposite whereby the further you are from the enemy you deal more damage it depends on what uh how your play style is but from my experience point of view i mean look uh, as a wizard, uh, a lot of time you are pretty close to enemies that rush onto you and, and, and for this build, you are not there to clear everything so you tend to just keep skipping uh, the packs and so on and uh, eventually you come upon a scenario whereby you have all these narrow corridors or rooms or water and, and whatever that you want to kill things really fast that are near you um, so with that said, try to get into enemies that's within 15 uh, yards from, from where you are and you'll get a pretty good buff 30% on top I mean you'll be like, you know, multiply to it so that that's pretty cool so just have to know what you pick I mean there's no rocket science here I mean you could pick something else to make your spiel quite special to you some people don't like the black hole and pick something else um, some people would like to pick the uh, you know further it is and and do more damage or things so there are a couple of options to evolve around here but this is by large I think a very safe kind of way um, which I enjoy is pretty uh, effective as well now um, with that said I mean that is the uh, that is the uh, overall build that I use from a gear perspective let's take a look at that um, so I use the Typhoon set now of course Typhoon set is a pretty good set uh, double the duration of Hydra increase the number of heads on the multi-head Hydra by two so instead of three heads you get five head but if you use the Memorph one uh, this is not a multi-headed uh, kind of like you know Hydra you don't get three headed Memorph kind of like a Hydra so you know I, I, I think you should just pick one of those uh, which kind of is nice because it gives you a variety versus the uh, the LOD kind of build, the Legacy of Dreams. Most likely, if you want to play Hydra on, on Legacy of Dream, you'll pick the Memoth anyway. So that's one option there. Um, I'll say the, the set, uh, two piece sets a bonus is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, four piece is nice. 8% uh, redux damage reduction taken. Uh, for each Hydra head alive, each time you take damage, a head dies. A head cannot die more than once every two seconds. Um, it's kind of weird because I, 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 I tell you, in reality, I don't really like sense this mechanic at all. It's either, you know, um, like, I mean, it's very rare that you see a Hydra losing heads. Uh, it's either, you know, it just, I don't know, the wizard just die or whatever because like uh, you try to have a shield and the shield kind of absorbs some damage. But when, it, when the shield stops at absorbing damage suddenly it's a big hit upon you and then boom you know kind of thing so it's very uh it's very rare that i see like oh you're losing you are losing hydra head one by one and you know after that you resummon but anyway you can observe the number of hydra head by this little number here so i have 10 here a uh, 10 heads so uh there are scenarios you see like nine or eight heads uh, very rarely um so you can resummon it there's no issue there's no cooldown it's only re uh, there's no cooldown on the Hydra summoning of Hydra and there's only like uh, 15 uh, arcane power to summon one so just summon to your heart uh, content <laughs> and the last one of course uh, as, as in uh, you know many many builds out there it's just to deal extra damage for each Hydra head alive so I got 10 Hydra head it give you uh, um, you know 30,000 kind of like I don't know 30,000 yeah 30,000 kind of like uh, 13,000 sorry 13,000 kind of uh, percent increased damage for the Hydra which of course is it's pretty pretty nice and decent. Uh, I wish the new necro set uh, <laughs> follow something like that. Anyway, um, so that is the uh, hydra uh, the hydra set, and I would just recommend you to um, you know to do a yellow dam on the head, uh, because I don't think I need more life, but I need more like a res resource reduction because there's a channeling cost to uh, to all this like um, you know uh, arcane arcane uh, kind of torrent that I use, which is this one here. All right, now um, so the set I take the full set. Um, I would say, you know, if you are using the head item, go for the crit. I think it's important. Uh, this is not really the best, um, you know, kind of fixes I, I, I have, but it's one of those that I, I go for. Um, you, you probably don't need armor. You can, you can I don't know whether it's something else like you can use as well. And the, uh, you know, that that is the, the shoulder itself and the, uh, the, the, the kind of like chest items. I managed to get um, 
pretty pretty nice uh, pants but it's, it's okay i'd rather have armor instead of resistance to all all elements a little bit of waste there but it is what it is sometimes i've actually got a primal ancient for the uh for the, for the boots as well but it's a movement speed which i can't like you know whatever so um so that's another one so that is a whole set i've got like 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 you see here they're not really the perfect affixes is not quite there uh but it, it, it is what it is so um, so that is the whole set I'm using there. As for necklace, because this uh, this build is uh, you know it's a build that you seldom take damage um, at all. So this uh, uh, skirt necklace is very useful. Go for the crit hit chance and crit hit damage. I mean you know if you can get ancient of it, of course it's good. But it's very hard to get an ancient amulet that has the both the crit hit damage and crit hit chance. And by the way, it's by percentage. So in any case ancient or not ancient you're not going to make a big difference the only difference is that uh, you can augment it of course um you know with the with more intelligence to it but uh, i would take the crit any time of the day so that is one uh from the hands perspective uh, you know glove perspective of course a task teal will increase the attack speed of your hydra which is kind of you know where the big deal is so yeah go for it um i i would just full on uh, dps on this one so anything with crit hit damage crit hit chance um those are the one that is really good to have uh, is it attack speed or something else i mean that is open for discussion but at least the crit has to be there now for the bracer perspective uh, i've got this uh, blood bracer that uh, further increase the potency of the shield by up to 100 percent uh do you need this i think if you're running high rift you need it um you know if i'm running the rift like um 110 or whatever it is then i, I need this thing uh you know, but if I'm running a reef that is 95 or 100, I use the um, the Nemesis instead so for me to spawn the Elite Pact when I touch the Shrine. So, uh, depending on your comfort level, you know, I, I do GR 100 without this, I can do it. Um, I, I just use a Nemesis. But if you find that you are a little bit fragile and kind of, you know, this kind of shield help, then use it. I mean, you know, either way, you're fine. Um, and the belt wise, I mean, I use a Witching Hour. You could uh, use the other one that uh, lower the cost of the uh, Arcane Torrent. But like I say, I mean, you know, uh, the DPS loss is pretty substantial. So, um, I would just pick the uh, Witching Hour unless you really, really need the um, you know the other one which is to lower the cost of the Arcane Torrent if you so you wish to. Uh, ring wise there are two of them. One is the uh, Halo of Karini. Uh, this is a very nice ring for your uh, damage reduction. I'll, I'll go for the highest kind of damage reduction I can if I could. But of course the crit hit and crit, <laughs> crit hit um, all the crits are very important. The pair of crits as well. If you can get I can't get but you know it is what it is. Uh, so try to try have that one. And then uh, we have the conversion of elements as well. Almost every other build in uh, in D three character <laughs> use this one. Almost, almost. Um, so it, it's nice. Uh, try to get a high roll as well, two hundred percent and one hundred fifty percent is a big difference uh, because of the fifty percent different by the rotation anyway. Uh, try to get a crit as well, uh, which I think I'm quite blessed to have this ring. Uh, looks pretty good uh, on its own. All right. Um, the weapon wise, I use the Death Wish. Uh, it's one of those that um, you know. Is, is a must. I mean, I think it's one of the most commonly used set of gears, uh, that Death Wish and the uh, the each uh, sigil because the fact that um, you know, it does when you channel the arcane torrent or whatever, 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 all damage increased by three hundred percent at least one second. So you, this is important because you you can no longer just like tap it and you know just uh, tap it and, uh, and 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 get the uh, you know get get the buff. You have to go and go and uh, you know channel it instead and uh, same for this one as well same for the sigil and uh, you have to channel it for for at least one second uh, so you cannot just uh, keep moving and keep clicking and you know keep clicking and you know that, that you know a lot of us do that uh, in, in d3 is to just force move and uh, and cast you know it's very common uh, this kind of like, strategy but uh, it's not something that you will be useful to you you do have to stand in for you know one second to channel before you can get the full benefit uh, i would highly recommend when you come to the sigil get the one that um you know up to 150 percent that that would be kind of beautiful because otherwise you lose the you know 25 percent on your uh uh overall power uh, sorry the uh, arcane um you know overall power that you have uh, on the hydra so yeah i mean that that is something that i would highly recommend so that is the uh, the set that you have here and yeah from the from the cube wise there, there are a couple options one is the um the serpent's sparker uh which you may have one extra hydra active at a time and they do increase damage so like i said no brainer you have to do it magistrate as well you have to do it as well because it does buff your hydra by 300 percent um, so that's good 
Um, I use the oh yeah, I use the royal ring of the grand duo because I didn't take the glove. By the way, sorry. So I, I didn't take the full set of typhoon. I take the full set minus of the uh, this glove here. Now there's a flexibility, of course, depending on your gear. You know, if you it depends on whether you get a nice uh task deal or a nice ma ma magistrate, and then the, it's the one that you're going to keep. Uh, the one that's not so good. So because I when I get this uh glove is is pretty good. You got all this like pretty nice number against it, like crit hit damage, crit hit chance. So I, I decided to use this rather than use a magistrate, uh, but it's really depending on what you what you do, all right? The uh so the last session is really about legendary exam, just talk a little bit about that. Uh, legendary exam wise the pain of the trap, uh the enforcer as well as the uh tegut. So now tegut is uh is kind of interesting because uh, what it does is that uh, it gain a certain percentage of uh, damage for 1.5 seconds when you spend resource on a channel skill to start up to 10 times so you can have up to 82 uh, percent for this particular bill uh, just to use this legendary exam and uh, I gain two percent of increased uh, armor for each stacks so now how it works maybe I just demonstrate this is that um, you see a little kind of like icon here right this one now but bear in mind that you could hold down and uh, and scale up to 10 but then you know it does by the time you hit 10 uh, you already like like halfway you know you don't have enough mana so that's one way to to, to do 10 that you know sometimes it depends on situation you know like facing a guardian that hasn't spawned yet there's no point in building 10 that and lose 10 like you know half of the arcane power so i just like you know like you know while waiting for the guardian to come up i would just spend like I, you know by the time i get 10 that I, I still have pretty full power of the ap and I, after that, I just channel all the way. Then I've got a lot more, like, um, you know, uh, coming out from the reservoir of the AP I have. And after that, I'll, I'll just hit the bottom and I'll start to lose it. And uh, do I want to channel it until I get the, 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 the max of it? Up to you. I mean, you know, that's the strategy that you have. Or you can just move around, you know, dot some of the boss mechanic, let the AP come back up again, and after that, build up the stats. So that is, I mean, do you have to do it all the time? No, not really. But it depends on whether you're waiting for something to happen anyway. So you just keep pumping. And uh and get 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 it there because you you only gain the damage uh buff to uh to to your thing to or to your hydra uh when you channel for one second at least one second and uh and this uh uh tagot can ta tagut can only be uh effective when you get to the ten stack so you know usually I just you know just go easy a little bit first and after that I just full on using the uh the rest of the AP dump the max kind of DPS against the enemy so that's what I do. Not necessarily have to do it every time. Second one is Enforcer. There's no brainer because um you know your your main your main kind of like uh, damage output is your Hydra. So in the sense, Enforcer is a no brainer because you don't do any other damage except the Hydra. The last one is up for discussion. Um, so I can I can do like uh you know close to one hundred ten with Bane of the Trap. A uh, Bane of the Trap is kind of nice because you got a fifty percent you know slap on top of the um the the enemy that you have and you you're using a frost uh, kind of like hydra anyway and you are pretty close to the action so being our trap is a pretty well-rounded one however if you are going to go further up like you know if you go beyond 110 kind of uh, region maybe being on strike and could be useful because taking down the guardian may take a while um it depends on whether you you find that it is worthwhile to uh to to lose this pain of the trap, uh, so that your DPS should be quite good enough to take on all the uh, you know kind of ads and uh, you know trash mob as well as the elite leading up to the guardian. So it's a bit of trade off there. If you find that in any case you can take on all these enemies, and after that you reach a guardian, and you know uh, it's either a slow, so slower clear and a faster guardian, uh, or a faster clear and a slower guardian. I think that the point whereby it'll, it'll, there's a breaking point somewhere. You have to sense it. I mean, you know, I, I think for me, I'm pretty all right at this uh at this juncture to use um you know the the bane of the trap. However, like for my wife, she's more comfortable to use bane of the stricken because that gives her the um the confidence to down the guardian quite quite fast. Because guardian usually is one of the more dangerous kind of like um you know entity within the dungeon itself, usually, right? Especially when the when the fight is a bit long, alright. So I hope uh, you know this is a pretty useful kind of like um, you know guide for you guys. And uh, if you have any question, do drop me the comment below. And if I do miss out anything, and sometimes I do when I make guides like this, I would also put the comments um, at the at the description of the video to correct uh, 
my mistake sometimes it happens uh, or anything that I missed out. I hope this time I don't miss out anything. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, that, that, that is it. A very, very fun kind of like a build. And uh, I, I think out of all the wizard kind of build I have, it's one, probably one of my favorite, um, you know, though it's not the strongest. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.